My family went to church every Sunday. That was just always a part of our weekly schedule. I guess the fact that my dad was a worship pastor kind of helped enforce that. So every Sunday, I could be seen in Sunday school and church learning about God's word and trying my hardest to be on my best behavior. After all, I was a pastor's daughter, so I had to be a perfect little angel. Or at least that's what I told myself. No one else ever told me I had to be perfect, but I told myself that, which was enough. There would be many Sundays that I would have just gotten out of a screaming match with my two brothers. After all, I was the middle child and only girl, so life was obviously very unfair. Um, but no one at church would know that I had just gotten out of a fight because I became very good at pretending to be this amazing daughter. This habit of pretending to be perfect slowly built in up into wanting to be perfect. I began building standards for myself that were completely impossible to reach. Fast forward a couple of years, this is when my standards were at their highest. I was constantly reminding myself how I never reached my standards, how imperfect I was, and how no one outside of my family could ever love me. By this point, I completely felt like a statue at church, not feeling anything about God, yet feeling like I was constantly being put on display. My expectations didn't just stay in church though, it also moved into other aspects of my life. There would be days in my band or choir classes that I would sit there and just count how many mistakes I made and hating myself for not being good enough and letting everyone else in the ensemble down. There would also be days that I would just look at myself in a mirror and cry because I absolutely hated what I saw. I was also always nervous to make friends because even just for platonic relationships, I didn't think I was pretty enough or good enough for others. It was very hard for me to believe that people could truly want to be my friend opposed to just being nice to me because they felt sorry for me. All through this time, I still had to keep to myself because I had to hold up to my ridiculously high standards. Even though I knew that I could never be able to reach, my, reach perfection, I still couldn't let anyone see my imperfections because then they'd see me as a pr bad person. And for me, that often translated into thinking people wouldn't think my dad is good enough for his job. And why would they think that he could be a good pastor if he couldn't even raise a perfect daughter? For many years, it was a fear of mine that my actions could cause my dad to lose his job. Once I got to college, God started pushing me to fix my expectations of myself. I was constantly being reminded of verses like Romans 5, 8, which says, God showed his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. The Bible tells us in multiple places that we are imperfect, but it also tells us in multiple places that it doesn't matter to Jesus. He still loves us no matter what. He was the perfect sacrifice so that we don't have to be perfect. All of that kind of came to a pause three years ago because while I was still trying to figure out how to survive college as a freshman, my mom was diagnosed with cancer and a couple months later lost her battle with it. Through that whole time, I went back to my old habits and would lie to people on how I was doing because I didn't want to share my true feelings with so many people because what if I ended up crying in front of them? What was I supposed to do then? To be honest, I really just didn't want them to know how weak I was on my own. But in classic Jesus style, he came back reminding me that I can't be perfect and I definitely can't earn my way to heaven on my own, which was essentially what I was trying to do. For the first time since I was probably in elementary school, I truly started feeling his love again. He also has given me friends that not only see me, or help me see that they truly want to be my friend, but also love me even through my imperfections. Through the years, I have learned that when my expectations for myself start raising again, the best answer is for me to just turn to the Lord in prayer. God has reminded me so many times how he brings true freedom and joy to us, which is definitely a breath of fresh air compared to the trap, uh, trap I was locking myself in before. Although I often still struggle with giving myself high standards and with trusting other people, trusting that other people truly care about me, Jesus is always showing me love. Lately, when I mess up and fail to meet my standards, I am reminded that Jesus values me despite my mistakes and of verses like James 4, 6, which talks about how Jesus always gives more grace. If anything I said to you stuck out, or if you just want to say hi, come talk to me after crew.